understand that Terrence was a stranger to him. However, to know that he could kill his mother and his sibling in cold blood in such a way is really hard to wrap my mind and understand that. This is the story of Shalonda Barton, a 34-year-old woman who worked and lived in Madison, Arkansas. Shalonda was the mother of three children, a 4, 13, and 17-year-old, and was also in a relationship with 31-year-old Jeterans Wright. However, their lives took a tragic turn on November 28, 2022, when Shalonda, Jeterans, and Shalonda's 13-year-old daughter were gunned down at their home while sleeping peacefully. As the investigation progressed, friends and loved ones were shocked to discover that Shalanda's own 17-year-old son was responsible for this horrific crime. What would make a 17-year-old boy take the life of his own mother and sister, and could this tragedy have been prevented? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Madison, Arkansas, a small town near Forest City. A beautiful town, known for its close-knit community and peaceful atmosphere. Shalonda Barton, a resident of Madison, was a 34-year-old mother of three who was a dedicated and loving individual. She was described as humble, kind, and always looking out for others. Shalonda was a mother to a 13-year-old daughter, Kelsey Thompson, a 17-year-old son, Jonathan Rolfe, and a 4-year-old little girl. She was known to have a close and loving relationship with them, often expressing her love for each and every one of them in her online posts. My boy 17. Y'all help me wish my only son a happy 17th birthday. You made me a mommy and I'm forever grateful. You the reason I go so hard. I wouldn't dare let you see me fail. Happy birthday my boy. The girls and I love you. Stop what you're doing and help me wish my Kelsey Marie a happy birthday. She's growing up on me y'all, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. My little helper slash twin. My Marie. Mom loves you to the moon and back. My girl. She was a caring and supportive mother, always looking out for her children's well-being. She was also known in the community as a teacher, mom, blogger, and traveler. Shalonda Barton had been in a relationship with 31-year-old Jeterans Wright for about a year. The relationship between Shalonda and Jeterans was described as loving and committed. The two appeared to be very happy together, and it appeared Shalonda had finally found the love of her life. In a post on social media she wrote. I only had one more left in me because baby I was gonna be single until I die. I'm the happiest I ever been in a relationship. Gotta stay prayed up and keep folks out yo business too. I love it here. Real love is definitely a beautiful thing. Don't let these folks lie to y'all. Everything was going well in Shalanda's life, but sadly her life would soon take a tragic turn in the most unimaginable way. November 28, 2022, would be a day that Shalanda's loved ones would never forget a day that would turn their world upside down. On that fateful day, the St. Francis County Sheriff's Office received a call from the grandmother of the family, about 1 a.m. Monday, November 28, 2022, to do a welfare check at the home in the 500 block of Gore in Madison, Arkansas. Deputies were discharged right after the call. When they reached the house, they discovered three bodies. One was Shalonda Barton, the other one was Shalonda's boyfriend, Jeterans Wright, and the third was Shalonda's 12-year-old daughter Kelsey. Shalanda's four-year-old daughter was also found at the home and was safe, unharmed and in good condition, the neighborhood. Expressed her deepest condolences to the family and the pain she feels for their loss. She shared her emotional turmoil, saying, My heart goes out to the family, my deepest condolences to the mom, it is just really hard. Another neighbor, Minnie L. Dillard, mentioned hearing dogs barking and seeing flashing lights in the area, but she didn't know what was happening. The St. Francis County Sheriff's Office initiated the investigation into the tragic incident, and a person of interest was identified in the case. The investigation initially focused on the possibility of a robbery as Shalanda's black Cadillac was missing from the scene. However, the vehicle was later found parked near the home of Jonathan's, her 17-year-old son's girlfriend's home. It was alleged that Jonathan stole his mother's car and abandoned it near his girlfriend's residence. Jonathan was at a relative's house at the time of the car's discovery, but was found to be in possession of the key fob. Investigators collected evidence from the scene, including shell casings, and tested it, which led to the identification of Jonathan Rolfe as the perpetrator. The Arkansas State Crime Laboratory reportedly linked Jonathan to the murders. Jonathan was arrested on February 7, 2023, from the relative's house in St. Francis, Arkansas, and charged with three counts of capital murder and one count of theft of property. 
Despite being charged as an adult, Jonathan, who was 17 years old at the time of arrest, was held without bond at a juvenile detention center until he turned 18. The St. Francis County Sheriff's Department described the incident as absolutely cold-blooded murder. The tragic event left the community in shock, with relatives expressing the difficulty of knowing the person responsible for the heinous act was Shalanda's own son. Clarice Jackson, a relative of Jeteran's right, conveyed the profound challenge of comprehending how someone could commit such a heinous act, emphasizing the struggle to reconcile the fact that the individual was capable of killing his own family members in such a cold-blooded manner. Jackson's words reflect the deep emotional impact and the sense of disbelief experienced by the family and loved ones in the wake of this tragic event. The tragic and senseless loss of Shalanda Barton, her daughter Kelsey Thompson, and her boyfriend Jeteran's Wright is a heartbreaking event that should never have occurred. The devastating news of their deaths, discovered during a welfare check, has left the community in shock and mourning. The impact of this tragedy on the family and loved ones is immeasurable, as they grapple with the profound grief and loss of their cherished family members. Shalanda Barton, described as a caring soul, and her daughter Kelsey, a beautiful and beloved 12-year-old, were taken in a manner that has deeply shaken those who knew and loved them. The surviving family members are left to cope with the incomprehensible pain of losing their loved ones in such a horrific way. Investigators have not yet released a motive for this horrible crime. As the case proceeds further, hopefully the loved ones of the victims will get some answers to why this tragedy occurred, but nothing will ever be able to justify such a horrific crime. The tragic event involving Shalanda Barton, Jeteran's right, and a 12-year-old child has deeply affected the local residents and the Forest City School District, which described them as a family. The community and authorities must come together to learn from this tragedy and implement measures to prevent similar events in the future. Strict gun control measures, including background checks and safety courses for gun owners, could have potentially prevented the use of a firearm in this tragic incident. A 17-year-old boy should have never had access to a firearm. Furthermore, raising awareness about the signs of mental health issues and providing education on how to identify and address them could have been instrumental in preventing this devastating loss. The impact of such a heinous crime reverberates far beyond the immediate family, affecting the entire community. It is essential to provide support and resources to those who are grappling with the aftermath of this tragedy, as the road to healing will be long and arduous. The memory of Shalanda Barton, Kelsey Thompson, and Jeteran's Wright will forever be cherished, and their untimely death serve as a reminder of the importance of prioritizing safety, mental health awareness, and community support to prevent such devastating losses in the future. My condolences to the loved ones of the victims. This tragedy should have never happened. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.